What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And, and it is episode 49 in universe mode. And it is a good one, guys. We got a great show planned, as always. I think my shows are pretty good. If you guys think so, let me know, because I think so. But here we go. Akiao turns tunes in in the first 20 seconds. What a guy. But welcome in, Wacky... Wacky Al. I cannot talk. Holy smokes. I called you Wacky Al. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully that doesn't like happen when we actually commentate. But we'll see how it goes. We are in Gainesville, Georgia. The home town of AJ Styles. And unfortunately, AJ Styles is not booked. <laughs> Which we haven't seen him in a while. But up first, also taking on Candice LeRae. Boom. House of Black. And taking on Cameron Grimes and Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate gets a win. But up first, we have the ring general, Walter, taking on the best in the world, CM Punk. CM Punk had a huge win last week on SmackDown, beating, I believe, John Cena and Bobby Lashley in a triple threat. Am I going to watch SmackDown this Friday? Yes, I am. And if you are watching on YouTube, I mention this every time. But follow the Twitch and you can be part of the early gang where I upload my videos early on Twitch because that's the only way I can record it. So it goes to YouTube the day or so after. Because at the time I'm recording this, it is Wednesday, the 27th or 28th of December. But here we go. First match. Got a good one for you guys. Let's see who gets the win. Walter is a former World Heavyweight Champion in Universe Mode. I believe he lost to Brock Lesnar at Judgment Day. I could be wrong. But speaking of pay-per-views, he is... Or we are almost at our pay-per-view coming up, Halloween Havoc. But there is the Ring General... Walter with that grew looking nose from Despicable Me, but he is here ready to go. Ready to destroy CM Punk, I would assume. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Walter! All right, Walter, ready to go. And here comes the best in the world. You guys know this man. CM Punk, Chicago Zone. But the Georgia fans, let's see what they think of CM Punk here in and our his opening contest. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 202 pounds, CM Punk. All right, CM Punk ready to go, as always. Like I previously mentioned, he had that huge win last week, but let's see if he can keep that huge winning streak going. He is now 1-0 in the past two weeks. But a former World Heavyweight Champion is a tough opposition, as always. But look at Walter taking it to Punk, Irish whipping him into the corner. And he tosses CM Punk. Oh my god, look at the strength of this man. Oh. The turnbuckle is blocking our view, but look at that. Beautiful by Walter. Two count already. Wow. Almost a three. Punk. What? Walter already busted open by CM Punk. CM Punk had this have something in his uh, wrist tape there because there's no way Walter bled that quick. But we're not going to question anymore. We're just going to carry on. But Punk, high risk, diving elbow drop, misses. Overhand chop. Car and elbow tie up. And now Walter looking for some move. And he drops Punk right there. Look at 
Look at that. Sam Punk using that offense that won him the match last week. And if you guys didn't know, Sam Punk has been in a rivalry so far in the series. This match is pretty much just a one on one. But Sam Punk was in the Sam Punk vs. Triple H rivalry early on in the series. So it was a pretty good rivalry, I believe. I'm trying to think who won this series. I want to say Triple H won the rivalry. But I could be wrong. All right, now Punk, look at the kicks to uh, Walter. And now a DDT flattens Walter. And now look, the pin, one. Oh, one count. Punk has, oh, Punk might be looking for a Pepsi plunge. Oh, he punches Walter right in the face. Oh, look at this. Pepsi plunge by Sam Punk. Beautiful. Now Punk making this look easy. Go to sleep. One, two. Oh, kick out a two and a half by the best or the ring general. I knew I was going to mess up, but oh well. Punk. Another pin. Almost puts Walter away. Oh, Punk. I thought he was going to go for the Anaconda Vice, but he's working this move. Whatever you want to call this. Walter in trouble. Will he tap? Oh, my God. He's in trouble. Punk, let's go. Punk with a kick to the back and now screaming in the face of his grounded opponent. Walter with the counter. Look at the former World Heavyweight Champion with a beautiful power bomb. Oh my god, that was powerful. Oof. Oh, Punk might be stunned here. Oh, nope, not quite. The pin. One. Two. Kick out a two. What a match we're having for the first match of SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, guys. If I sound a little stuffy, I don't know if I do. But my nose has been really stuffy. My voice has been hurting. I think I'm getting sick soon. But I apologize. And now look at Walter. What is he thinking? Oh, my. Oh my god. What a move off the top rope. Now a pin. And he puts away CM Punk. Oh my. What a match. To open Universe Mode Episode 49. Holy smokes. And I'm just getting word now. That next week on SmackDown. We're going to have... A number one contenders match for the world title. I don't know how many people are going to be in it yet. But there is going to be a number one contenders match next week. So you guys don't want to miss that. Been great so far. I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, the match. The match has been great. Or my voice. Because I, when I talk, I sound, I feel like I sound bad. But I don't know. But up next, we have Jeff Hardy taking on Malachi Black in this match. And Matt Hardy is nowhere to be seen in the corner. And Malachi Black does not have the House of Black with him. So, no distractions. Just a normal one-on-one -on -one match. Let's see how it goes. I wonder where Matt is. Because Matt's usually always with his brother. But... I guess he did not want to interfere with this 
because Malachi Black is one scarier opponent. So. Can this load any slower? This is Punk seem disappointed. He did. That might mean something next week. I don't know. I love how I hit 200 subscribers like a week or two ago. And I still haven't put up the special because of errors that I'm having while editing and it's just not working. But anyway, let's get on to Jeff Hardy and Malachi Black. I've said this before, but 2K23 um, Universe Mode, I'm going to have less customs. But there is Jeff Hardy. He is ready to go. He's been red hot so far in the series. I'll tell you that much. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hardy Boys. From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! And here comes his opponent, Malachi Black. And if I was Jeff Hardy, I would be worried about the black mass. Because that can come out of nowhere. That kick is so brutal. It can break your jaw. But there is Malachi Black. And he is ready to go. From Amsterdam, Netherlands. Weighing in at 185 pounds. Black. I think the issue with 2K22 was the roster was from calendar year 2020, so order models, etc. Yeah. But, oh well. Look at Jeff Hardy. Oh my god, springboard drop kick. Knocks Black down. Jeff Hardy going high risk. Rest tunnel to get down. But look at this top rope leg drop. And now some right hands. Duplex there. Pen attempts. One. Only on one count, black kicks out. Oof. I love how we already have two out of seven matches confirmed for Halloween Havoc, which are Lana versus Tony Storm. The winner gets a contract for Monday Night Raw, and it's going to be a TLC match. And then we have Finn Balor taking on mystery opponent, and then that holds barred. That's all you stuff with the only matches we know so far. Look at Jeff Hardy really taking it to Malachi Black here. That guy black does have a signature though. Now look at the right hands. Black reverses that. Jeff Hardy. Power bomb. He's going to the top rope once again. Another top rope leg drop. One. Two. I just want 2K23 to come out now. I like this game, but I just want an updated roster. I want to see Cody in the game. I want to see Bray Wyatt. 
I just want all those people in the game. You know what I mean? But Jeff Hardy. Swanton bomb to Malachi Black. The leader of the House of Black is stunned. And now a pinfall. Jeff Hardy gets a win. Over the leader of House of Black. Wow. What a win. Here is your winner, Jeff. Jeff Hardy is your winner, but let's get on to the main event of the evening, which is women's action. And it is Rhea Ripley taking on Liv Morgan in an extreme rules match. Rhea Ripley is your Miss Money in the Bank. Let's see if she can get the win over Liv. I think she can, but let's see. Heck yeah, who you got winning this? Miss Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley, or Liv Morgan? Jeff Hardy, AI is OP. <laughs> He's sadly not going to be in 23. If he is, I'm going to be surprised. Unless he has to do something with the showcase, but I doubt they'll put him in because he's recently worked with AEW. All right, here we go. Main event time. And here comes Miss Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley. I believe we haven't seen her in a while. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Is this just me or hmm. is this the first entrance that Rhea Ripley actually came down with the Money in the Bank briefcase since she won it in our first ever pay-per-view? I could be wrong. We should have had this rivalry play out in real life. Yeah, I agree. And there is Liv From Morgan. Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Liv Morgan. I got these cars as alternate attires, you see. Because I don't want to have the Liv Morgan with the face paint. Crowd training. Rhea is going to kill you. But is she going to kill Liv Morgan in this Extreme Rules match? We'll have to see. Rhea Irish whips Morgan into the corner. And look at Rhea. Look at this. Oh, what a boot to the jaw. Now kicking a grounded Liv Morgan in that corner. Oh, that's the SmackDown Women's Champion. Charlotte Flair. What is she doing here? Charlotte. Oh. Drops Rhea Ripley. Look at the strength of this woman. Oh my god. Helping Liv Morgan out. What is the reason between this double team? Look at this. Oh! Rhea reverses and now slams the women's champion. What does this mean between these two women? Oh, Charlotte takes out the leg of Miss Money in the Bank. Running clothesline. Brutal. Well, if Charlotte attacks Rhea Ripley here in the main event of SmackDown. Huh. Weird. But let's get back to the main event. Liv Morgan, second rope, splash. Now kick to the back and some stomps from Liv Morgan. It's 
So I gotta think, is Liv Morgan going heel? Because there's no way that the SmackDown Women's Champion, which Charlotte is a heel, assisted and helped Liv. But look at that. Liv Morgan just got tossed almost right into the LED ring post. Now look at this. Rhea Ripley looking under the ring. Oh, she has the sledgehammer. We know the game Triple H is on SmackDown. Oh my God, there goes the hammer. Liv Morgan off the ropes. Look at this. I keep saying look at this. But look at all this. What a match we're having here in the main event. One. Oh, only on one count. Oh, takedown from Rhea. Oh, the signature. Nails Liv Morgan right smack dab in the middle. Now the pin. Rhea's finisher gets countered. Liv Morgan now trying to take advantage of that opportunity. Now Rhea counters. Rhea. And now pitfall with this bridge pin. Almost puts Liv away. Oh, Rhea has gone killer mode. You saw her do that. Taunt the same chance to slit the throat of Morgan. And now she got a kendo stick and beating the back in the chest and the stomach of Liv Morgan. Oh. Liv counters and now hits Miss Money in the bank. Oh, she breaks the kendo stick over her. Ooh, Liv might have been looking for Oblivion there. Could not tell because Rhea Ripley is taking advantage. In the corner. And now Rhea working on the arms of Liv Morgan. Rhea almost stuns Liv. But now look, Liv reverses, puts Rhea in the corner. Oh no, it's all over but the crying now. Rhea Ripley stuns Liv Morgan. Rhea. Going on a ride there. Holy smokes. And now pan attempt from Morgan. Two count. Liv now looking for a weapon of her choosing. But Rhea does not let that happen. And these two women are battling it out on the outside. Oh, Irish rip right into the steel steps. We have a four-star match according to the game's in-game star rating. But both of these women have a signature and a finisher. So I'm thinking that definitely something's going to happen. I hope they actually add up over in, in the springboard as a double knee face because she does. Do they not have that in the game? Or do I have to manually add it? Oh. Look at this. Liv was almost stunned from that sledgehammer shot. Oh, Rhea. Gets hit right in the gut. Oh my god, now she's getting brutally attacked. Oh, what a super kick. These two women... Going to war. That's it.
I don't they have similar moves? Is there like the actual move in the game? Like if so, let me know and I can add it to her moveset as her finisher and signature. But now Rhea, ground and pound action. Almost stuns Liv Morgan on the outside. Kick to the gut. Morgan counters. Live in the corner, getting the crowd to their feet. This crowd has not sat down. They are invested in this main event. Rhea, look at this, a vertical suplex. Will she finally drop her? And she does. Rhea Ripley, oh she's, oh that's her finishing maneuver. Will Liv Morgan tap out to miss money in the bank? Oh, she does. Liv Morgan, that is it. Rhea Ripley still gets the win, even though the women's champion, Charlotte, interfered Here early. Is your winner, Rhea Ripley. And guys, I am just getting word now that next week on SmackDown, we're going to have a women's tag team match. It's going to be Liv Morgan and Charlotte Flair taking on Miss Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley, and a mystery partner. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys this Monday for Universe Mode episode number 50. We hit the 50 mark. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you then. Take care, all.